Hello, I hope you'll pardon this small interruption. We are off cycle here just the day before the release of the latest I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere episode. This is Scott Monty. And this is I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere, the first podcast for Sherlock Holmes devotees, where it's always 1895. Mycroft Holmes spoke for all of us in The Greek Interpreter when he greeted Dr. Watson with that fateful line, I hear of Sherlock everywhere since you became astronomer. Yes, you hear that at the beginning of every one of our shows, and in our minds, that's the voice that we will always hear deliver that line straight from the canon. Little did we know when we began I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere 17 years ago today, on June 14th, 2007, that we would have this kind of longevity. That first episode, if you go back and listen to it, it's well, like a young animal trying to walk immediately after being born. Awkward, unsteady, far from refined. Maybe even a little cringy. Go back and listen to it, if you dare. <laughs> But that first episode set the stage for what was to come. Not only in nearly 300 episodes since then, but in our companion show, Trifles, and in numerous other Sherlock Holmes podcasts that have been started by other passionate Sherlockians along the way. In the very next episode, episode 289, our special correspondent, Madeline Quinones, will begin a series called A Chance of Listening. It's a series of short assessments that she's doing following on her presentation from the Dayton Symposium, where she surveyed all Sherlock Holmes podcasts, or at least all Sherlock Holmes podcasts until then that she had identified. And she's looking at giving us a timeline and a history of how these shows have grown and what each one of them are. We hope you'll give it a listen. to talk about the rest of the Sherlockian podcasts out there without talking about this one first. I mean, back in June 2007, Scott and Bert didn't just go where no Sherlockian had gone before. They went where almost nobody had gone before. Podcasting was still a new medium. You had to explain what a podcast was. And in the 17 years since its inception, yes, 17 years, I hear of Sherlock everywhere has become a Sherlockian institution, like the Norwegian Explorers Conferences or the Baker Street Journal. Yes, I am putting this show on a level with those things. I think that it's earned that place. I mean, my gosh, at this point, I hear of Sherlock everywhere is a series of of Sherlockian oral histories in its own right. It's tremendous. As a reminder, I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere is an interview show that's something like a cross between fresh air and car talk for Sherlockians. It airs on the 15th and 30th of every month, and you can find a complete listing of the archives at ihose.co slash ihoseshows, all lowercase. We're now in our 18th season, and we don't see an end in sight. And we'd be interested in hearing from you. What do you think of I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere? What have your impressions been so far? What are some standout episodes that perhaps stay with you? What's made an impression on you along the way? You can email us at comment at IHearOfSherlock.com, or of course you can text us at 5 1895-221-B-5. Again, that's 5 1895-221-B-5. Text us there and let us know. And if there are any Sherlock Holmes fans who still haven't discovered us, please share this with them. Well, until next time, I will be the irregular Scott Monty. 
And I'm the right off the rack 40 regular Burt Wolder. What a great fit. And together we say the, the games. games a foot. A foot. <laughs> the, the games of foot. You know, I'm afraid that in the pleasure of this conversation, I'm neglecting business of importance, which awaits me elsewhere. Thank you for listening. Please be sure to join us again for the next episode of I Hear of Sherlock Everywhere, the first podcast dedicated to Sherlock Holmes. Goodbye, and good luck, and believe me to be, my dear fellow, very sincerely yours, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs>